Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in my this particular video, I am going to discuss one very interesting concept and that is clustering technique for dimensionality reduction. Okay, and for this particular discussion purpose, I am using digit recognizer Kaggle competition, right? So already I have uh, demonstrated how we can use SVM and histogram of oriented gradient as feature extraction technique and uh, just uh, make submission for this particular competition and here is my that video in which accuracy we achieved nearly 0 0.97125 a very good accuracy right now in my this video what i am going to discuss it is same project i am going to do but this time using k-means and k-n these two together i am going to use so what will be my approach so as you know there are basically seven 85 columns right in our data if you check here data 785 columns out of which first 784 columns are basically my pixel values of my image 28 cross 28 each image is and the last one is basically my uh, labels right sorry the first column is my level all right and the from second column to last column are the pixel values okay now what we can do we will be applying k-means on our data set directly and for each image we will be taking the distance from individual clusters and obviously here k value we are going to take as 10 because here 0 to 9 so obviously uh, for all digits, we are considering 1 1 cluster, so 10 k value 10 we are taking. No need to check with elbow method. Now, what we will do, we will use the distance from distance of a particular data point from 10 centroids as feature, and then we will train those features using some uh, NN model, and then whatever outcome we will be getting, that we will be uploading as submission. Okay. So first k means then outcome of k means we will uh, pass via knn okay so here is my complete project clc clear and close all warning of as you generally right i am reading my training data i am extracting the levels which is first column and from second column to end column is basically my image pixels okay i am reading the test data as well in test data there is nothing called level column so now before applying k means what i am doing I am appending training data and test data and creating one common data, this data, okay? And this data I have to normalize because K means in K means we have to take care of featured scaling, right? Because this is distance based algorithm and KNN as well is a distance based algorithm. So in images, 255 is the maximum possible value in unsigned integer 8 bit representation. So I am dividing each element by 255. Then I am applying k-means on my data where i have appended training and test data together vertical stacking kind of thing and then with k value 10 i am clustering okay index position index that is each row is belonging to which cluster we are getting here this c will be basically giving us the cluster central locations some d is not required for the time being it is used for taking elbow method and this d is basically storing distance from each uh, centroid distance of a particular row from each centroid okay then what we are doing we are here taking our training data now training data see here we have appended training and test data so we have applied k-means now this d is storing all the features because this is the distance of each data point from different 10 different centroids so this we are going to use for training for knn right so what we will be doing will be taking training data so array to table d that is this distance first row to ms ms is basically my training data size all those rows i am taking from first to ms and all columns and this is becoming my training data and rest of the data is my test data then we are creating classifier using fit cknn passing the training data the labels we are passing but labels are in table format when you are extracting here so we are converting from table to array and then num neighbors that is k value for knn we are taking as 10 
you can vary this uh, to improve accuracy or you can apply hyperparameter tuning then here we are predicting that and then here we are making our submission file for uploading as simple as that like this part is same like i have discussed what for our previous video okay so first i will choose the current directory where my training and test data is stored so i'll select this folder here you can see test data training data present upload csv also present which i is in which i have tried earlier but anyway i am going to train the code from scratch obviously it is going to take some some time and then new upload csv will be created which will be overwritten on the existing one or let me delete the existing one no problem here i will simply delete this yep now control a evaluate selection obviously it is going to take some time because you can understand the data set size is quite huge so first k means it is applying then again one more model it is training knn okay so obviously it is going to take some time let's wait for that So it's done and here upload.csv file is created now i will go to submit prediction and here i'll upload i will go to my required location upload.csv it will take some time to upload based on internet speed it is uploaded and let me make submission obviously we will be not getting that much accuracy like earlier but still let's check all right 0.86432 okay so this much accuracy we are getting but see this is we are not using whole feature space we are doing dimensionality reduction and the features whatever we are getting we are using that for another machine learning algorithm right so you can understand that this is still powerful because uh, after doing this much also it is not giving a very bad accuracy and you can see that 2340 is the current rank which i am getting with this 0.86432 score right so you can vary the k value for k and n obviously for k means you cannot vary it is going to be 10 because 0 to 9 for 10 uh, digits you will be having 10 clusters only right so the same code i'll be posting in the description box or in the comment section so this is the simple idea first do k means clustering then for each data point whatever for individual data point the distance from each centroid that you can use as feature for Training some supervised machine learning model. Okay, and this is dimensionality reduction, obviously, because you can understand actually my data each row is 28 cross 28 image, which is 784 features. From that, we are converting to D. D is what? D is for each row, the number of features is distance from distance of that data point from each center. That means 10 centers per that means uh, the number of features is going to be 10 so from 784 to 10 features we have converted right so same code will be posted in the description box or in the comment section if you want you can go and check there thank you